Auntie Hampers, hey Empresses. How are y'all doing today? This video is going to be for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. If you are new here, welcome. Thank you so much for joining me on my channel. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe, y'all. First things first, I only have one YouTube page and one Instagram page. Don't get scammed. You're going to book a personal reading with me using my website, which will be listed down below in the description box. I pray you are having a beautiful and blessed day, and I pray you're having a beautiful and blessed week. May Father God continue to cover you, bless you, and keep you safe all days, always. And I am sending you so much peace, love, and healing energy. Anyone sending any negative energy within this reading, may it be returned to send it a thousandfold. Let's begin. Angels, ancestors, spirit guides of the highest white light, please come down and protect me. Please come down and give me clear messages straight from the divine. Archangel Michael, Holy Spirit, please come down and protect me, guide me, and keep me safe. And please come down and protect and guide the viewers that have clicked on this video today. What are the messages today for Virgo? Sun will rise in Venus and North Note. What does Virgo need to know? Please and thank you. All right, Virgo. So at the bottom, you have here, I believe in myself. So this is all about you believing in yourself. It doesn't matter if other people believe in you. It doesn't matter. People didn't even believe in Jesus. You have people that didn't, you have people that didn't. So it's time for you to believe in you. Okay, yeah. So you're being pushed, you're being pushed, nudged to release control of your plans, your ego's plans. And this is so that you can make way for your destiny. Okay, and your destiny is literally you fulfilling God's call and purpose within your life. That's your destiny. Okay, so you could be getting on the path towards your destiny, but it's going to call for you to release control, release how you want things to be, release how you want people to act, release how release what you feel like should be the way because it's not the right way the right way is god's way okay how i feel is okay i don't need to explain it so however you're feeling okay it's okay to to feel what you're feeling at this time and you don't need to explain how you're feeling like whether it's good whether it's bad you don't need to express you just need to feel at this time you feeling you being in your emotions and your feelings is really important especially as an earth sign earth is, is likes to ground earth doesn't like to really feel you know earth signs or they like to feel the emotions and feelings but that's so needed because your feelings and your emotions that water energy basically somewhere here could have like a watery moon your moon sign is connected to your emotions somewhere here could also have a watery venus the way that you love yes you're an earth sign but it's time to tap into other facets other assets other other attributes of you it's time to tap into your feelings and your emotions because your feelings and your emotions are connected to your intuition and your intuition is connected to God up above the angels and your ancestors that are all around you. So it's a choice that you could be making at this time or you need to make at this time. And it has to do with like you, your life, with how you want it to be. Do you want it to be more difficult because you're doing things the way you feel like it should be? Or are you surrendering? And trusting in God's flow, trusting in your intuition and listening to what your feelings are telling you. If you want to cry, if you want to be happy, if you want to jump for joy, if you, you know, are feeling down, ex feel it. Go through those emotions. Accept what you are feeling at this time. Okay, what else does Virgo need to know? What else does Virgo need to know? Holy Spirit, please and thank you. Okay, so you have here, yeah, so there's gossip. You could be gossiping about people, Virgo, and I never see this card. I have never seen these cards popped out before. So this is clear. You could be gossiping about someone or someone could be gossiping about you. There's a lot of people gossiping about someone who is self-employed, and that is the worst to do because why would you talk about somebody who's getting money for themselves? So that's like who's working for themselves like why would you talk bad about someone that's doing that it's so difficult to be a business owner like and you have to be so creative to like be able to use your own like abilities to make money in this day and age like my goodness so i don't really like this energy at all virgo i'm just being honest i'm just being real i don't know who this is i don't know if this is what you're doing to to people or i don't know if this is what someone is doing to you but it's wrong and spirit is identifying it, okay, literally four, five, six on a timer. Somebody is gossiping about someone who is self-employed. And it's a lot of folks, a lot of people that are doing this. This could be a woman that's, a woman that's talking about a man. These could be men that's talking about a woman that's self-employed. Or these could be the same sex. 
You could have a woman that's self-employed and men and women are talking about this woman. Or you could have a man that's self-employed and men and women are talking about this man. And it's like people could be trying to also like put up tough competition. Or this person already has tough competition. So on top of having tough competition, on top of having to be self-employed and make money for themselves, they also have people gossiping. So I'm praying for whoever this is that they gain the strength to continue to push forward and triumph. Okay, that's what I'm going to say to that. <laughs> Whoever's energy is coming through. Yeah, someone here is about to level up. You have here feeling powerless. Yeah, and this is happening because someone here feels powerless because someone is leveling up. So whoever this self-employed person is, whether you or someone else, Virgo, that may be in your energy, they're leveling up. This person is going to be in a power couple. They're going to be in a power couple with someone. Leveling up is here. So it's time for someone to level up. Or this is happening because there's a level up that's happening. That's taking place in someone's life. And it comes with them being a business owner or being self-employed. Working for themselves. Not working for anyone else. Working for God. Who got this card? Taurus. You can have Taurus in your bricks. Or you can be connecting to a Taurus or a Pisces. Balance. I just did Taurus's reading. And Taurus got that card. Okay, yeah, you also have here your never give up. Taurus got overextending themselves to never give up. Okay, you could be getting ready to mix business and pleasure. Okay, so you could be a business owner, Virgo. Or there's someone that's mixing business and pleasure. Or you could be getting ready to meet someone. You could be in a relationship or you could be, you know, sleeping with the person. And you guys could also have a business together. Okay, or this could be, you know, you're going to be in a relationship, a power couple, you guys are going to have businesses together and you're going to be married. Or this could be someone that's getting ready to get caught at the job, mixing business and pleasure. There's also someone here, because there's a lot of stories that I'm getting from this. This looks like embarrassed at the bottom of the deck to me, at the bottom of this card. It just is, it may not spell out embarrassed, but it's just giving me that. M M B R A. It's just reminding me of the word embarrassed. So someone here could be getting ready to get embarrassed at work because they're mixing business and pleasure. Be mindful of overextending yourself, Virgo. Be mindful of overextending yourself. Be mindful of giving too much of yourself to people, other like to people that don't deserve it. Be mindful of, you know, make trying to do too much to make people like you. Taurus got this energy. Okay. You're doing something and it's paving the way for others. I'm seeing here 777 could be significant, 77, 77 could be significant, 77. This is a warning, also a confirmation for you, or the number seven could be significant. Someone could be born on the 7th, Some, something could have happened in July, someone could be born on in July, someone could, um, 1977 could be significant, someone could be 77, someone could be born on the 7th of any month, Okay. We also have here, it's you're paving the way for something. You also could be getting ready to work with God because that's that Midas touch energy. So you could be doing something with your car. You could be needing to do something with your car, a checkup, an oil change. You need to go to like, isn't Midas like something to do with cars? I, I feel like it is. So you could be getting ready to work with God, okay? And God is the only person that has that Midas touch. He's the only person that will give you the ability or the gift to bless your hands, to bless your energy, to bless you so that you can procreate life in this world, so that you can procreate, pour life into others, so that you can make money, so that you can create for the purpose of, of the divine, for the purpose of the kingdom of light. God is the only person that has that ability to bless you or anyone. So you could be realizing this as well, that it's time to move forward and it's time for you to embrace where you're the where your angels and ancestors, where the divine realm is taking you. That's the truth. It's time to trust what you're being guided towards. Is it's taking you towards purpose, the ace of swords? It's taking you towards vindication. It's taking you towards a place of being understanding, of clarity, and also of connecting back to your emotion. Not being closed up like the king of cups, but being like the queen of cups. You could have water in your chart. Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces is highly aspected, or this is just you need to be in tune with love again, with self, with self-love, with self-care, okay? The overall energy is the devil for y'all. Y'all saw me shuffle these cards, Virgo, so don't be in my comments like Mecca, well, each, well, each week what's going on with y'all, Virgo, okay? I'm not a Virgo, <laughs> so I'm reading for y'all, but there is definitely someone here that 
spirit keeps putting similar messages out each week or there could be and it's because it's something around you that is toxic and it's being utilized by the devil either someone is a son or a daughter of the devil you could be in a relationship with someone that is they don't their father isn't god their father is satan okay they listen to down below they like to destroy cheat abuse manipulate lie they're a con artist you could be in a very karmic relationship with someone it could be a lot of codependency a lot of abuse okay a lot of trickster energy a lot of like my god my goodness just chaos destruction when you see the devil it ain't nothing good okay it's very rare when it, the devil shows up and it's actually good. That's why we clarify. But when the devil is here as an overall energy, that lets me know there's a lot of codependency, toxicity, manipulation, lies, abuse that's going on in your energy. There's there's thing, one, one, one on a timer, as I said, this something needs to, this could be wrapped around a obsession over a man. This could be someone that you are dealing with that is very abusive. It could be a Capricorn, an Aries, or a Taurus. What's going on here? The Five of Wands is the first card out. So there is some type of conflict in your life. There could be a lot of fighting, a lot of drama, a lot of discord, a lot of competition, a lot of gossip. You could be fighting someone. You could be arguing with someone. You could be going up against people. You could be fighting other people for someone. Okay? With the Five of Wands. It's just conflict. It's arguing. It's drama. Spirit is getting ready to put an end to this. Scorpio energy is coming out. With the death card, something is over. Something is getting ready to come to an end. It has to do with somebody doing something too quick. This could be you, Virgo. You could have did something too quick with the hermit card. Now it's like you could be going ghost or someone could have ghosted you. This could have been in a, a, in a relationship or about a relationship. Someone here could have also been studying someone very closely. Someone here could have been watching your home, studying your home, studying you. You could have been watching someone from your home. The Ace of Pentacles is here. So there could have been a fight or argument around some type of new opportunity that was coming in around money. What's the Five of Wands? The Eight of Pentacles. So somebody here was trying to do this. Somebody here was putting in the work to keep somebody in their head, overthinking, and in a state of constant drama, constant conflict, constant issues in their life, constant people, a lot of people being in the mix. Somebody here likes a lot of people to be in drama they like a lot of gossip they like a lot of people to be knowing what's going on especially if it's issues like i don't what's the eight of wands about the queen of swords this could be a virgo i'm not a virgo this could be a virgo <laughs> this could be you virgo or a libra this is like libra energy or cancer but this could be a virgo that's that's doing this another virgo this could be you Okay, I also see you could be using your discernment right now to see past some type of illusion to break free. And it could have to do with a water sign or a king of cups. Someone that keeps their emotions and feelings to themselves. You could have you could be dealing with like your child's father or someone that, you know, you have deep love for with the king of cups. But be mindful with the king of cups. Some type of secret is out that this person has love for you, but they also have love for someone else. There's two cups in someone's hand. Okay, yeah, look at this. Someone here is committed so there is some type of commitment that this person is in but they were giving to two with the six of pentacles so somebody here loves someone and they love like this person is either if not committed to this person they're in love with someone a king of cups is in love with a queen of cups and a queen of cups is in love with the king of cups this could be a water sign virgo what's going on here with the queen of swords so yeah so you could be trying to focus on how to Something could be very stressful to you, but you could be focusing on like getting rid of like issues in your life, burdens, hardships in your life, things that really weighed you down and it's really bringing stress or this could have been very stressful going through this enlightenment, but this is also building up courage within you. Yeah, the King of Wands. What's the King of Wands about? So there's a fire sign that wants to talk to you or there could be someone that's about to pursue you and reach out once you choose to be single. What's the King of Wands about? You have someone that is very attractive, very sexy, very daring, very good looking. This person can have a lot of people that, you know, want them as well. So this person's coming in to try to tell you that, like, they're going to confess some type of secret to you. The moon coming out in the reverse. So someone could be coming towards you after getting out of some type of an illusion. 
And they could be talking about how they were with a karmic individual, the lovers in the reverse, and how they want success now with the Six of Wands. What's the what's the moon about? Gemini energy is here. Yeah, this could be someone that's making a choice to travel towards you. Okay, the emperor is here. So somebody here is an emperor. What's the king of wands about though? This is, could be someone from your past. This could be a Scorpio, an Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius. Somebody wants to pursue you. They want to bring balance. This is per this person wants to come in peace. This is going to be someone that's wish fulfillment to you. So you have someone that's coming in, but this could be the devil. But who? why is the devil keep showing itself? But you could be dealing with the earth sign, or this is you right now. You could be dealing with a, a very karmic individual right now. The king of pentacles, something that has you trapped. Okay, this could be, this is your energy, Virgo. Either something has, you could be very obsessed with money right now. This could be like someone that's very obsessed with you. Somebody here wants somebody to commit. Why is the devil card showing itself? So yeah, somebody here is obsessed that someone's gonna is loyal to an empress or someone's about to be loyal to an empress. What's the devil card about? Somebody's obsessed with someone's new beginning. They're mad that someone is a high priestess, intuitive, or that they have a new beginning. Somebody here wanted someone to be stuck, like stuck on sex, hooked up, hooked up on sex. In the past, something could have happened around like a one night stand as well, and now it's like it's being laid to rest because of God. What's the Ace of Wands? Okay, so somebody was obsessed with having a new start with someone, so they tried to cause an illusion to a divine masculine, an emperor, even though this person has a counterpart. What's the emperor about? So the devil tried to keep somebody in an illusion, and now this person is no longer confused. They're standing their ground. Virgo, this could have been you trying to manipulate somebody to keep to block someone. What's the magician? Someone was doing spell work on someone. And now this, yeah, whatever's happening, it's, it's rightfully supposed to happen. This man could be manifesting now after standing his ground. Now it's good karma coming in. There's going to be a turn of events that takes place, okay, especially around someone's money. What's the queen of pentacles? The lover. So somebody here is about to be choosing the right lover at this time, or you could be choosing the right lover at this time. After some type of faded event took place, what's the Wheel of Fortune? So something faded, so there's something faded that's about to happen. And it has to do with movement forward, communication. Someone here is going to be communicating that they're holding back from someone. The Four of Pentacles, they're clear. They know that somebody is demonic or toxic or is, you know, what, what's the Emperor about? So there could be a man that is leaving the situation, a divine masculine, because he's, he's committed spiritually to someone. Yeah, the Ten of Cups. Somebody here wants true love or happiness, and it's like really stressing out someone that thought, yeah, because somebody is manifesting, or they thought that somebody was going to take a leap of faith with them with the fool, but this person's choosing to heal, okay, and hold back with the Four of Pentacles. Somebody here is clear about doing this, though. So there's a man that's clear about overcoming like addictions, toxicity, bondage, energy, and it's really like making someone untamed, upset. It's, it's happening out of nowhere with the tower. This exposure, this illumination. It's like the, the strength card in the sun beat the devil. Somebody has went through a spiritual awakening and change, and they see the truth now of a situation, and they're going to be making it clear to someone that they're in love with someone or that they want to be with someone. Okay. Anything else that Leo is here too? Anything else that Virgo needs to know? Someone's in big player energy. This could be someone with the, the letter N. Or somebody here was in a big player energy. Now this person is healing. You also have someone that will never have money. That's in your energy. Okay. But there's an empress in the reverse. Somebody here. So there's a karmic woman that will never have money. This could be a Libra, a Taurus, a hoe. Someone that's very promiscuous. This could be an unfit mother. Y'all know how I feel when the empress come out in the reverse. Like, it's just... Somebody here needs to needs to really go heal. Yeah, something's going on with your old love. Your strength is gonna be required. You maybe needing to hold back from this individual, or you could have, you know, you really be, you could be really needing to tap into your inner strength. Surrounding your old love, this could be someone that could be reaching out to you. Something could be happening on Monday as well. Okay, or Thursday. Okay, yeah, and yeah. BDE. Somebody here it has like a reptile dysfunction right now they could have something going on with them 
Okay, this could also be a karmic that's in the mix. So somebody here could be connecting to a karmic woman or a karmic man. And this person is, you know, there's things that are going on with this individual because of some type of karmic relationship that they were in. And something could be happening on Thursday. Okay, so something is definitely happening this week. Okay, there's also a water sign in your energy. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Okay, be patient. You could be meeting someone. The letter B could be significant. There is someone that's going to have a fall as well. Okay, or something could have happened in the fall time. Who is helping Virgo right now? Who is helping Virgo? Or who is around Virgo? Okay, you have your goddess Gaia. You also have your Hath Hathor. The number 33, someone could be 33, someone could be 31, someone could be number, um, some something about the 5th, someone could be born in May, someone could be uh, born on the 13th or on the 6th, June could be significant, April could be significant, May, someone could be born on the 5th or on the 4th or on the 6th, on the 13th. You have your celebration, so this is all about rejuvenation that's here and giving gratitude, giving thanks. Goddess Gaia is here, so this is about connecting back to Mother Nature. Taurus got this as well. You could be connecting to a provider. You could be a provider or you're focusing on the elements. And then you have Archangel Kamel here. This is all about embracing unconditional love, self-love, and healing of your heart space. I hope this resonated with you. May peace and blessings be to you always, Virgo. And I'll be seeing you on the next video.